What up, what up, what's the B-word, man? I'm Anthony Addison with another segment of what's the B-word. Like and subscribe to the page. Hit me up on Instagram, what's the B-word 52, just like you see on YouTube. Hit me up on Facebook, what's the B-word. And hit me up on Twitter, B-word 52. And y'all already know what's going on with me, baby. Baltimore Raven fan, Raven Nation stand up. Flock, let's get it. And if you ain't a Raven fan, you might be a fan of whoever. Hit that like button in the way. Hit that subscribe button in the way, because we talk football, period, baby. And the reason why we here tonight, man, my phone was going off, going crazy. And for some odd reason, you know, last week when my phone was going off crazy, I knew it was probably something good. But the way Sunday went with us losing, running, standing, getting hurt, and my phone was buzzing, I knew it couldn't have been good at all. And I looked on Twitter and come to find out Marlon Humphrey has tested positive for COVID-19. And um, I'm not sure a lot of y'all underst understand how big this is because now you got to think about it. Marlon tested positive and Marlon played yesterday. So now you got to worry about how many people have Mar Marlon been in contact with, how many people could have possibly been infected with COVID-19. Like, man, this is serious. On Pittsburgh side and Baltimore side, I mean – like, wow, like, th that's all I can really say, man. So, um, we got a lot to worry about with this situation right here. Um, I'm thinking that Marlon would be, he would most definitely miss the guy, this game coming up against the Colts, and he probably will be back for the Patriots game. If he's not back for the Patriots game, then he'll be back for the Steelers game. But, like I said, the whole question mark in, in, uh, of the whole situation is, who, who has Marlon been around? Like, now we got to really, really worry. Like, has he been around Marcus Peter, Peters a lot? Like, like that's that's the big question. And Marlon did miss practice for illness um, earlier that week. And it was cold-like symptoms, which is, believe it or not, one of COVID symptoms. COVID, COVID symptoms, pretty much the same symptom as a lot of things. The cold, the common cold, the flu, stuff like that. Um, but he tested negative. That's the part. That's the hard part about this virus that people don't understand. People think that as um, soon as you become infected, then you show up positive in the virus. No, a lot of times when somebody is infected, they 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 won't know until they until like the third or fourth day they have been infected. That's why people got to understand. And I don't mean to go into a medical um standpoint and stuff like that, but. That's what people got to understand that, that taking temperatures and stuff, that's a false sense of security when it comes to COVID-19. Because, A, some people don't show symptoms, and B, by the time somebody has a fever from COVID-19, they probably didn't had it for about three or four days. So we're going to have to watch this up on the microscope, man. I'm not trying to um, talk to y'all like I'm a doctor and stuff like that. Um, I mean, it's just rough, man. The, rain's come, the rain come down hard. When it rains, it pours, man, and it is pouring in Baltimore right now due to the loss, due to running standard, getting hurt, and now Marlon Humphrey got COVID-19. So prayers out to Marlon, man. Prayers out to the whole Baltimore Raven football team and the Pittsburgh Steelers because, like I said, Marlon played Sunday. So we just got to watch this under a microscope, man, and just see what's going what's gonna to happen in the next couple of days. Are we going to have an outbreak or are we not going to have an outbreak? I pray to God that we don't have an outbreak because this is not what we need right now. Not This is not what we need right now. So anyway, man, it's pretty much black and white, man. Marlon Humphrey has COVID-19. Prayers out to Marlon and everybody who could possibly be involved with this. But anyway, man, y'all make sure y'all like and subscribe to the channel. Y'all hit that notification bell. Y'all hit me up on all my social media platforms. What's the B-Word 52 on Instagram? What's the B-Word on Facebook? B-Word 52 on Twitter. Flock, I love y'all. Like I said before, we had 1,000 subscribers. I'm trying to figure out how am I going to give out these two chains, man. So don't think I forgot about the two chains. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to give out these two chains. Am I just going to pick two loyal subscribers or am I just going to ask a question? And if that's the question, I'm going to have to think about what the question is. But anyway, man, Flock, I love y'all. Subscribers, I love y'all. And I'm out.